So you might think maple syrup is just made in a factory or comes right out of the tree, but there is a process. Definitely, it's a process. Seattle so yeah, Living's Ryan Burke got up to see, got to see up close and personal out at Homer Lake, and I didn't realize that they they did this until this past year. Yeah, you know, it really is kind of such a great program. And I mean, Heather, you've got kids. If you said, you know, hey kids, where does where does maple syrup come from? What do you they think they might say? Probably say Aunt Jemima. Mm -hmm. From the bottle. <laughs> I think that's the answer a lot of kids and probably a lot of adults would give. So yeah. that is completely the reason why they put this on. It's why Sugar Maple Days are so important for the community. On a quiet late winter afternoon at Homer Lake, the silence is broken by an unusual sound. But as dozens look on as a tree is tapped, a tradition spanning back to the Native Americans is carried on. I, I appreciate the I appreciate the history of it. I, I very much do. If I could do it without using propane, if I could use it, you know, and just use the materials that are there, I certainly would. But it is, you know, it's a connection to that. I definitely see that. For John Garvey, who leads the maple syrup demonstrations at Homer Lake, what started as a way to pass time in the winter has turned into a full-on passion. I was regularly getting kind of antsy before gardening season started so my wife decided to get me some just three spiles for the three trees in our yard and i started doing it in our backyard and just kept doing it since during maple syrup demos families get an up close look at how the syrup making process works from tapping to cooking getting to share the process with people young and old means a lot for garvey I, I know people generally have a general sense about it, but it's always interesting to see what they do and what they don't know. Um, I like to share it. I, I certainly do. I like to see the kids get excited about it. I really like it when they understand what's going on. Getting to see this natural process up close is the main goal for the Forest Preserve, who says it's a way to bring people closer to where their food comes from. I think there's uh, a lot of people don't really think about where their maple syrup comes from or that it's an actual process. It doesn't come straight from the tree. Uh, so there are lots of, actually lots of different kinds of trees that can be tapped to make syrup as well. And for now, thanks to Maple Sugar Days, families across central Illinois are able to walk away with more than just an appreciation for how to tap a tree, but an appreciation for nature. Now, there is still a chance if you want to see how maple syrup is made. They will be doing another one of these demos this Saturday on March 12th. But the catch is you have to register today. Today is the deadline, so you can go ahead and give a call to that number on your screen or, of course, head over to our website, ciliving.tv. Now, I got to let you guys in on a little secret. I guess it's not a secret because he shared with the group when he was out there. John, the guy that uh, is doing the demo, yes. so passionate about what he's doing. But he told us he actually doesn't care for maple syrup. Oh. He what? said he cooks with it and puts it in things, but he said he loves doing it, but uh, he doesn't actually like maple syrup. Huh. So. But well, a great guy amazing. doing great things, showing wow. the community how I, it's done. I had no idea that sap would look just like water. Yeah, it's really thin. I think people think it's like thick like syrup, right. but it's not. And they boil it down and they it gets do. that thickness. Yeah. And it, Interesting stuff. And, and goes right to Aunt Jemima. Good stuff. <laughs> Makes me want right. pancakes or sausage and something yeah. like that. So yeah, now we're talking. Definitely. Right. You, you, can, you can get cooking when Joe's done if you want. Hey, I just might. <laughs> tell me twice. <laughs> we're going to hold you to that, right? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I spoke too soon. Yeah, right? Exactly. Thanks so much. We appreciate it. Lots of opportunities to send Ryan a story. You can Facebook connect.